Welcome everyone to another 20 minute workout in our reformer series. Today I am doing a full body mobility program. So we're gonna be stretching the legs, the shoulder girdle, the upper body, and the core. So to begin with, I'm gonna start with some footwork and I'm gonna use two heavy springs here and I'm gonna come down onto the carriage and we're gonna put one foot heel right here, or so, sorry, high half toe actually, on the bar right in line with my sit bone and I'm gonna press out. Now as I press out, the other leg is gonna start tabletop. As I press out, I'm gonna reach that leg up to the ceiling, give it a good stretch there and then come back in. You don't have to take it all the way over the bar. You can just bring it back to tabletop. So reach behind it, you're gonna uh, support it as you stretch the leg up and then come all the way in. I want you to use an exhale here. Hold it for a second and then come back in. And let's do that again. Reach and hold and come back in. Just one more time like that, pressing right through the center of the ball of the foot here. And now you're just gonna hold it there and you're gonna lower the bottom heel under the bar, get a good stretch there and come up. And for this part, just bend this top leg and just hold it against your body and lift. So I'm gonna use those springs to really get that stretch. Don't lock your knee out though. You don't wanna hyperextend it. You wanna keep it straight, but not hyperextended. And lift it up. One more time. Down and up. Now, I'm gonna come halfway in here. So just halfway in. And from here, I'm just gonna lower the heel and lift it. So really working through the deep muscles in the foot and ankle down and up. The carriage doesn't move. I just lower and lift. And one more time here, reaching it under and lift it up. And then you can just return the carriage all the way and you can kind of shake that leg out. Now let's do the other side here. So I'm going to go onto my ha high half toe position. I'm going to hang on here. And as I press out, I'm just going to extend that leg up and then come back in. And again, extend it up, holding behind it, supporting it and coming back in. And again, right through the center of the ball of the foot, reach and inhale to return and lift. And then make sure this foot on the bar is right in line with your sit bone and lift. Now hold it there. You can just relax this leg in here and you're gonna lower that heel under, hold it for a second and then bring it back up. Again, reach it under, let the springs Pull that heel further under, make sure the knee's not locked, and then come back up and again, lower under, use your exhale as you lower under there. And back up, and one more time, you're gonna reach it under and come back up. Now bend your knee about halfway and you're gonna lower and lift just working through the foot and ankle here. Try not to sickle your foot as you lift up. Try to stay between the great toe and the second toe and not go in toward the baby toe on that bar. And just one more time, reaching under and lifting up, and then you can return. So they should be nice and heated up and feel a little bit more mobile. We're gonna take the straps now. I'm still gonna leave the two heavy springs on. And I'm gonna bring the straps around the feet. Hopefully you're playing some nice, quiet, soft music. And from here, we're gonna lift up just to help you relax a little bit, stretch, and then come down. Now my legs are in parallel. And as I come up, I have that feeling of sinking the tailbone down. And from here, all I'm gonna do is just hang on here and draw them both down and then release away. And I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna lift up, I'm gonna exhale as I lower it down, come up and down. Now, I'm gonna come up again and I'm just gonna bend one knee and then I'm gonna hug it. I'm just gonna hang on to it and I'm gonna let this leg stretch. I'm flexing that foot, reaching the heel up and relax and do that again. Exhale, draw it down, flexing the foot, reaching the heel up and release, and I'm gonna do that again. Pulling down into it, and release. Two more times. 
So I'm really not trying to pull the rope back. I'm drawing it down mainly and release. Now press back out. Let's lift both legs up again. You'll probably feel a difference between the two legs and then bend the other leg this time. You can hang on to that leg and again, stretch, exhale and inhale, release it. And we'll do that again. Just gently draw down on that rope, letting the hip really sink down here and up. And we'll do that again. Drawing down, exhale, sink into it and lift and one more time. Drawing down and up. Now from here, we're gonna press back out. I'm gonna bend both knees in and then I'm gonna take the strap off of one foot. That leg is gonna remain tabletop and I'm gonna take the other foot and bend it toward the side, so the knee's out to the side here. And I'm gonna be able to reach behind it and I let the strap pull my foot and my leg to the side and get a really good glute stretch. Keep the hips down and just use that foot against this knee to support it. And exhale and get that stretch a little deeper. Let's just hold it here and breathe. Just hold it for a few seconds. Just relaxing into that stretch, making sure this knee is kind of out to the side and this one's in as far as you can bring it in, keeping the tailbone kind of sitting down on that carriage. And just hold there for a second. More. Now carefully bring that leg to parallel. And we're gonna take the other strap, place it on, and just straighten them both out. Now come back in. We're gonna take the other strap off this time. Let that leg turn to the side and put that foot against the opposite thigh. And from here, bring your knee in on that tabletop leg. The rope will help increase that stretch, feel that? And then just let this knee open out to the side, keep the hips down. And you can reach behind that leg and give it a little bit more help. So you're getting help pulling this leg back with the rope, but also with the other leg. And breathe. And we'll just hang out here for a good 10 seconds, just letting that stretch happen. And you can always keep the stretch a little longer if you want, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. That really triggers the muscle to relax. And again, every time you feel like it relaxes a little bit, deepen that stretch a little bit more. Let that rope pull you back a little further, open this leg out and just breathe. Now we're gonna bring that leg carefully back to parallel and we're gonna take the other strap back on and press the legs out. Now from here, the legs are gonna be turned out. Make sure you're in the middle of the carriage here and you're just gonna lift up here. So with the turned out position and lower back down and again, lift and lower. Now we're going to come up this time and you're going to bend into a diamond position. So don't collapse down into it. Keep that diamond position, toes kind of pointed away. Your knees are going to stay the same place in space here. And what you want to do is extend the knees and feel that stretch and then come back in. And again, reaching out, keeping the tailbone down and feeling the stretch in the adductors as the ropes give you a little bit of a hamstring pull as well, and then bend back into the diamond. And let's do that again. So frog reach out, stretch out there, and come back in. And we're gonna do that two more times here. So just a good reach and return. And just one more time, we're gonna stretch out right there and come back in. All right, now take the straps off your feet and we're going to come up to a seated position. And you should feel nice and stretched out in the upper body. Or lower body. <laughs> we're about to do the upper body. Take your bar down. And I'm going to go to the lightest spring. So I'm using what we call a very light spring on here. If you've got that, use it. Or just the lightest spring you've got. And you're going to have a seat. Uh, kind of in the middle here of the carriage or even like almost toward all the way back. And 
It should be really light here. You want to start lifting the arm up and turning back and then coming all the way back down through. So I'm going to inhale, lift the arm, start my spine rotating and come all the way down through. And again, lifting up, reaching up. You can follow your hand with your eyes all the way through. And two more, lift up, reach back, push into that band right here. You really wanna push into that strap. And then come down. Let's do it again. Lift up, press back, stretch back there. Reach out through the shoulder and then come back down. Let's do that to the other side. Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just want to tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts. And we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll join me. We're on John Gary TV, and now let's get back to work. So holding on, I hold on to the flat black part of the strap just so there's a little bit of tautness right in the beginning. And then I reach up and press back and then come down through. So nice and slowly here, follow that hand. That'll help you turn your spine. Press into that strap as you're reaching at the furthest point back. And then make sure you drag it down to the bottom. And again, and exhale. And all the way down through, we're going to do it one more time. Reach up and press into it and come all the way down through. Now, we're going to turn to the side here. And what I'm going to do is a little external rotation. So again, I have the lightest spring on here. So I'm going to go here and open. That's it. So my body is square to the side and I'm opening, I'm holding onto the strap. Now, if you want, you can put your hand through it this way. So the strap is on the back of the hand. Keep it nice and long. And come back. Now I'm gonna add here. So what I'm gonna do is open the arm and as I open the arm, I'm gonna turn toward the opposite wall. So I'm gonna turn my shoulders and my rib cage toward the opposite wall. You should feel a deepening in that stretch. Open and close. And one more time. Open and close. Now, all I'm going to do from here is turn my body at a 45 degree angle here, facing this way. And I'm going to grab the back strap. From here, I'm going to actually hold on to the flat black part of the strap, palm up. And you see how it gives me a lot of range there. I want to pull around to the front, internal rotation, but I'm, I'm really focusing on the external rotation part where I open the arm back out without letting the elbow flare out. So I pull across and then I let the resistance help me open back. And it's a light resistance just to give you a little extra stretch. Pull, exhale, and inhale, open back. Two more, pull, and one more time. Pull and open. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna hold the front strap again, facing the side, and I'm just gonna do a stretch over. So my hand is supporting me on this side and I'm lifting up out of that rib and then I'm coming back. I'm just gonna do that two more times. So lift up and over. It's like the mermaid, but you're using a really light strap resistance here. And back, and one more time. This other hand is just supporting on the carriage. Reach, and back up. All right, let's do that on the other side. So I start with external rotation. So I'm gonna grab the front strap, put the back of my hand against the strap, open, and back to the front, right there. So this is engaging the deep muscles in the back of the shoulder that turn it and giving up a little bit of a stretch through the front. And one more. 
stretch out there. Now I add my rotation. So as I start to turn the arm that way, I turn my torso this way. So opposition. So as I'm opening the arm, I'm turning in the other direction and coming back. And you should feel the heat there in that back of that shoulder. And one more time, turn the ribs away from it and come back. Now I'm going to go to my 45 degree angle, holding onto the back strap here and angle my body toward that front corner. And you can hold palm up, holding the flat black part of the strap, bring it around and let that stretch open Whew. and pulling it in. And if you're tight there, you really feel this stretch right here and exhale, pull and inhale, open. And one more time, pull and stretch it back. Now from here, I'm turning back to the front and I'm grabbing the strap and I'm going to stretch right over, pushing my hand into that strap, supporting myself on this side and lifting up and out of the hip and back down. And again, lifting up, exhale over, push into that strap. And one more time here, press, lift, reach and come all the way back. Okay. Now from here, just gonna turn to the front again. I'm keeping those light springs on and I'm gonna reach forward, super light. Just open the arms out and extend the spine, get a really good, just a little bit of help stretching back there and then bend back into the start. So I'm gonna reach and allow the stretch to happen. Straps will pull back a little bit, but from here, you just bend your elbows and straighten your spine. So you're not really pulling from that extended position. You're just going from here and relaxing. Let's do it one more time. Inhale and now use your exhale. And right back into the center. Okay. Now from there, we're going to bring our foot bars up and we're going to do a little bit more lower body. So first one's really simple. You know, this one we're going to go into, I'm going to use a heavy spring on the same side I'm standing on and I'm going to go into a little single thigh stretch from the floor. So I sink down into it and I push with my feet. So my hands are just resting on the bar. I'm really pressing my feet away, keeping my hips as square as possible. My back knee under and to, uh, return, I keep my hips down and think of lifting my sternum up. So the front knee just bends and then I push back out, straightening that front leg, keep pushing into that back leg as I bend my knee and lift my sternum toward the ceiling. And one more time here, press out, really stretch back there and return. And now carefully bring that carriage in. I want you to take the spring off. So there's no springs on the carriage is going to move very easily here. And I move my front foot back about to the middle, holding onto the bar. Still, I'm going to hang on to this back foot. Now I bring it close to my seat and I sink into it like so bringing that heel as close as possible. And then I just pull it back underneath standing up. And again, I exhale slowly. Roll that carriage back, sinking down on this front leg, chest lifted and come back up and again, sink right down, stretch and rise back up. Let's do it again. Seat close, glide that carriage back and sit straight down and come back up. Okay. Now let's put the spring on the other side and we're going to hop over and we're going to do that same thing here. So I'm going to sit down into it and push back and just get that really good pressure here. Feet pushing away from each other, arms relaxing. And now think of sinking the hips toward the springs and just bend that front knee to come in. And again, push back, 
stretch. And then bend that front knee to come in, lifting the sternum. And again, push back, stretch back there. Feet pushing away from each other. You should be feeling really good right now. And come in. Now, come on up. Be careful, you're gonna take this spring off and you're gonna scoot your front foot back a little bit and grab the top of your foot here behind you. And then you're gonna let the knee glide back as you sink straight down really keeping that foot as close to your seat as you can. And come back up. Good quad and hip flexor stretch. Again, sitting down into it. Shoulders open. And coming back up. And again, sit into it. and rise back up. Let's do it one more time. Just keep the breath flowing, bend the front knee, glide the carriage back, stretch, and come up. All right, we're adding that spring again. And if you want, you can add a light spring as well. We're just gonna do our down stretch to finish. It's a modification. So you start in this kind of C curve. You're gonna lengthen the spine and push both legs back, ah, and then rise up. Get a good stretch, come back through, and drive those knees under. We do that again. Lengthen the spine, push back through, glide up, come back down, and curl. Last time, guys. Unravel the spine, press through the legs, Glide up, sink back, and drive everything back underneath, and exhale. And slowly come out of that. Well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed our 20-minute reformer mobility program. Full body, you should feel really good, really loose. It's a great way to start, end your day, or finish another workout. That's it for us. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Hey everybody, thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that workout. And if you did, I hope that you will join us over on John Gary TV. John Gary TV has over a thousand workouts that include Reformer, Pilates Mat, and Fitness. We are your at-home Pilates and Fitness Studio. Right now, if you sign up, you'll get 50% off your first month. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a Reformer. If you've got a mat, you can have a mat membership. If you've got some fitness gear, you can have a mat and fitness membership. Or if you've got a reformer, you can have an all access membership. We've got you covered. So I hope you'll join us over on johngarytv.com today.